Cal Water Sports here with John Pullman. Uh, congratulations, man. You're finally getting the shot. Um, I was excited when I heard. Um, tell us, man, break, us, break down how that whole process went when you guys got the call, kind of the thought process among the gym, all that. Well, um, thank you. Thank you for the support. We always appreciate that. Um, basically, the way it worked was Jura was preparing for uh, another opponent on the same card we had heard about and we thought he was going to fight in December it didn't work out thought he was going to fight in January it didn't work out then we you know we 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 knew he was going to fight in February and um you know Al calls and says do you want to fight Wilder you know his opponent tests positive for steroids and they need to find somebody and we talked about it me Gerald and Mike got on the phone discussed the pros and cons to the opportunity and at the end of the day the the you know we had our what we wanted to do but at the end of the day is this Gerald what do you want to do and I, and I could tell, you know, like by talking to a fighter, how he feels, you know, about the fight. I said, Gerald, what do you want to do? Gerald said, without hesitation, I'm going to whoop his ass. So I said, let's make the fight then, you know. And, uh, you know, people talk about short notice, and I keep hearing this word short notice, but to me it's it's not short notice, it's perfect notice. And because he's he's been in the gym training, like he's in shape. If he was on the couch for a month and somebody, that's not his personality, but if he was, then the month, yeah, short notice, but... He's in shape. All we got to do now in a month is get our tactics together with Wilder, and that's more than enough time. I've, I've talked to him about this fight before, uh, kind of off camera, and, and it seems like he's kind of gotten close to getting the fight, and then for whatever reason it hasn't happened. But I feel like the way he spoke about it was like, there's already kind of been some game plan. There's already obviously been talking to the gym about what we would do, or what approach we'd have with him. Was, was that true? Absolutely. You know, Gerald and Deontay Wilder fought on the same card in Fantasy Springs. I think Gerald was 7-0 at the time. And uh, Deontay Wilder fought uh, 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 the Russian Wolf, or I forget his name, but or something like that. Yeah, uh, but but and um, and Gerald went out and fought an undefeated guy. He was seven. He was eight and zero. The guy he fought was seven and zero. Jerry Forrest. Gerald knocked him out in the second in that round. Wilder came in and fought, his, fought. I think it was. I forget the guy's name, but the Russian guy. He knocked him out in the first round. Had him down doing convulsions and everything yeah, else. Yeah, yeah. And, and Gerald looked at each other. And they looked at each other, and Gerald was like, you know, right then. Gerald was looking at him like, I want. I can't wait to the day I get my opportunity with that guy. We knew. We knew they were on a collision course. We we knew this was going to happen eventually. To me, it wasn't a matter of if; it was a matter of when. So he's always kind of been in the looming in the back of our mind. So uh, yeah, we've been kind of thinking about him for a long time. Speaking of when. He's coming off a long layoff, the bicep injury, the hand, all that stuff. Is Does that play into kind of your, your mindset going in? I mean, obviously you're expecting the, the best guy, but, you know, after injuries like that, it's, it's you know, the first fight back, obviously fighters tend to kind of want easier fights to kind of ease back into it, right? And he did. They wanted an easier fight, and it just didn't work out. And they, they kind of got, you know, and this is what they got. But um, to answer your question, I'm a human being, right? So, of course, I try to analyze every little thing where you have – yeah, he had a hurt hand and a hurt bicep and it got surgically repaired. And Gerald may not be in the forefront of his mind. He's arguing with Anthony Joshua and <laughs> talking to uh, Fury and Parker and, you know, worried about unifying titles. But to be honest with you, that all that doesn't matter. We are preparing for the best Deontay Wilder. We have to. Um, and if Deontay Wilder doesn't bring his best, it's just going to be worse for him. What's it like? Just today, obviously, there's a, the gym is full. There's a lot of media here. Uh, I feel like Gerald's been ready for this spotlight. It's, it's you know, he's 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 been prepared for this, but now he's kind of in it and it's ready. T tell us what it's like to kind of finally have that uh, the attention that I feel like he's deserved for a while. I'm sure you felt he's deserved for a while. I mean, that's very nice of you to uh, say, and uh, again, appre always appreciate your support. And the thing about Gerald is he's a charismatic guy. You know, everybody loves Gerald. I love Gerald to death like a like a brother. You know. Um, we're, I'm more than a trainer. I, we're like family. And and at the end of the day, Gerald will give anybody in here the shirt off his back. That's just his personality. So uh, to see him getting uh, a lot of notoriety for his boxing ability is great for me. Like, I love to see that. But what's, what you guys, I think everybody here is going to see and, and the public is going to see is that once he shows how good he is in boxing, what's going to happen is everybody's going to start giving him notoriety for what a kind of human being he is as well. So it, it can transcend boxing to me. He is that type of person. Like the things he says, he believes, and I believe are true. Or he wants to, you know, spread positivity for everybody because that's what he's about. He really lives like that. Like there was an old lady, you know, that goes to the laundromat. They come in here asking for Gerald. They just want to talk to him. They want to go have lunch with him. He's just such a nice human being, you know. So for me, I, I love to see him being successful. But we got a hard job to take care of first, and we're going to do that on February 25th. 
He's definitely a, a great guy. I remember the first time I interviewed him, I was like standing on one of your boxes over here with my phone because he was like so tall. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, but no, he's a super cool guy. Um, last question, man. I see the chessboard over there. I see you guys always playing. What's the record between you and Jared? Who's who, who's winning right now? I don't know for sure. You know, we go back and forth. He's uh, I'll tell you what. I used to beat him a lot more because he just started playing, and uh, this is you know a couple years back. But then he caught up real quick. So we're you know we're neck and neck now. For sure. Last question. Prediction on the fight. Do you have one? How does it end? Uh, Gerald Gerald's gonna win. I mean, that's all I can say. How he wins. Uh, I don't like to really say because then it, then 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 it puts some kind of unnecessary pressure on us to do it that way. I'm just gonna tell you right now, he's gonna win. Awesome, man. I cannot wait to watch it. Congratulations again, and uh, I'm so happy for you guys. Thank you, Thank you brother. Appreciate it.